वेलकम स्टूडेंट माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर डी के पाटिल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री चांगू काना ठाकुर आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड साइंस कॉलेज न्यू पनवेल टुडे वील लर्न द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम एस वाई बी एस सी एनालिटिकल केमिस्ट्री पेपर थ्री सेमिस्टर फोर यूनिट वन सो हियर वी हैव टू लर्न द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोफोरोसिस टेक्निक्स सो डियर स्टूडेंट इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी लर्न वॉट इज द इलेक्ट्रोफोरोसिस दिस इज द टेक्निक वेयर the separation of charge molecule has been taking place by the supply or by giving the voltage or electricity so here we have to learn the different types of electrophoresis technique the first type that is a moving boundary electrophoresis now the moving boundary electrophoresis is also known as the free boundary electrophoresis technique where the migration or moment of charge molecule taking place in the solution freely so this moving boundary electrophoresis was first invented by the scientist tessilius and for his work he get the nobel prize in 1948 where he separate the colloids colloidal also the charge particle as we know these are the charge particle so tessilius separate this colloidal uh, charge particle first time by using the electrophoresis technique so he gets the no, uh, nobel prize in 1948 so this moving boundary electrophoresis is carried out in the u shaped tube u shaped tube where the platinum electrodes are attached at the both end of the u shaped tube and then uh, the sample is loaded at the bottom of the u shaped tube and then the by uh, using the buffer solution and then when the electricity is given with the help of electrodes the moment of charge particle taking place now dear student you have to remember the moment of charge particle is generally taking place to the opposite side electrode means positively charged particle will move to the negatively charged electrode that is the anode and then negatively charged particle will move to the positively charged electrode that is the cathode so you see here this is the diagram of moving boundary electrophoresis technique to u shaped tube i have shown here the first uh, the diagram which is before the starting the electrophoresis technique the charge particle are present at the bottom of the u shaped tube uh, and then the buffer solution is there okay and at the both in the two electrodes are there cathode and anode anode is the positively charged cathode Uh, is the negatively charged electrode when you start the electrophoresis that means when you supply the electricity to both these electrodes cathode and anode then the moment of the charge particle taking place slowly now here the a is the negatively charged while b and c is the positively charged particle now as we as i see earlier the moment of charge particle has been taking place to the electrode of opposite charge mat it means what the positively charged species will go to the electrode of negative charge and negative will go to the electrode of positive charge here the a minus which is the negatively charged particle that is moved to the electrode of opposite side that is the cathode containing positive charge while b and c is a positively charged so they will move to the electrode of opposite charge that is the anode carrying negative charge so moving boundary electrophoresis is carried out in the u shaped tube and you have to remember that the charge particle are moved to the electrode of opposite charges now the next uh, type of electrophoresis we have to learn that is the zone electrophoresis technique zone electrophoresis technique which is uh, generally the name is given because we see the bands or zones in this type of electrophoresis okay and this technique is used for the separation of different kind of charge particle like proteins nucleic acids or bio polymers are there so here in zone electrophoresis the supporting media is generally the paper strip uh, or gel material that is a gel of starch or agar agar or polyacrylamide these are the supporting media used in the zone electrophore supporting media means on that media we have to spot or we have to keep our sample material okay and and that particular material is used as a support they help for standing or keeping your sample material fix uh, in your electrophoresis uh, material okay so here 
this is a zone electrophoresis technique and again the zone electrophoresis techniques are three types are there paper electrophoresis technique then cellulose acetate electrophoresis technique and the gel electrophoresis technique so first one is a paper electrophoresis technique paper electrophoresis technique means where the paper strip is used as a supporting media means on the paper strip we have to spot our sample material and then we have to give the electricity with the help of electrodes and then the charge particle move to the electrode of opposite charges so this technique is generally in this technique generally the motion of colloidal particles uh, of the solution occurs along with the paper strip and this paper electrophoresis technique is somewhat uh, very easy compared to the gel electrophoresis technique so here in the paper electrophoresis technique the paper strip is moisture or wet with the buffer solution and then it is kept into the buffer solution it is a fixed paper strip is fixed at its both end and then the sample material is spotted on the uh, at the middle of the uh, paper strip and when the electricity is supplied or when we give the electricity uh, the movement of the charge particle started to the electrode of opposite charges so here you see the, in this diagram the two electrodes are there one is anode containing positive charge cathode containing negative charge and these two electrodes on these two electrodes the paper strip is kept there which is called uh, sometime that is a chromatographic paper is there which is used as a paper strip and then the sample is spotted at the middle of the paper strip and then uh, after the electrophoresis the moment of charge particle taking place that is we see the bands at the end of the paper strip so what are the application of paper electrophoresis technique these are the many applications of paper electrophoresis technique some of the applications i highlighted here that is this technique is mainly useful for clinical research and various uh, uh, research studies then this technique is used uh, for the study of sickle cell uh, disease hemoglobin abnormalities and separation of blood clotting uh, factors serum plasma proteins these are various application clinical applications of paper electrophoresis this technique is also useful for the uh, testing of uh, the quality of water in case of uh, municipal or city areas to check the toxicity of water and other environmental uh, components are there so these are uh, important application of the paper electrophoresis technique now next type is the cellulose acetate strip electrophoresis technique cellulose acetate dear student we know that the paper which is made up of cellulose and in that cellulose the hydroxyl groups are present there so what happen uh, on the paper the adsorption is generally not takes place properly adsorption is reduces on the paper because why because of this hydroxyl groups are there so to solve this problem the cellulose acetate membrane has been used there where all the hydroxyl groups are converted into the acetate groups okay so because of this what happen as the hydroxyl groups are removed there the separation has been taking place uh, properly good resolution is obtained there that is a high resolution is obtained there even at the low uh, voltage uh, supply okay so this is what the uh, important uh, application and advantage of cellulose acetate strip electrophoresis technique and this technique is also widely used in the clinical and biological fields so this is what uh, the uh, figure of cellulose acetate uh, electrophoresis where similar to that of the paper electrophoresis technique only difference is that instead of paper electrophoresis we have to use the cellulose acetate filter paper and we have to spot the sample in the middle of the uh, filter paper and then the after the supply of electricity the separation of a charged particle taking place that is a positively charged particle will move to the electrode of negatively charged uh, electrode that is on the anode and negatively charged particle will move to the electrode containing positive charge that is the cathode so dear student to today we will stop here in this lecture we learn the types two important types of electrophoresis technique that is a moving boundary electrophoresis technique and zone electrophoresis technique thank you